Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 5th of December 2019, the Princess Royal attended the annual Christmas reception for the Not Forgotten ex-servicemen and women at St James's Palace. The Not Forgotten Association supports over 10,000 vulnerable members of the armed forces each year. The charity provides injured or sick veterans with a range of entertainment and activities throughout the year. Dale Malin spoke about the impact the Not Forgotten Association has had on his life since being medically discharged from the army. The Not Forgotten for me was a lifesaver. My name's Dale Mallon, I'm 43 years of age and I served in the 1st Battalion near Guy and Highlanders. I got medical discharge in 2009 through injuries that I sustained in Iraq in 2003. I got three ruptured vertebrae in my lower back, I'm now deaf in both ears, I have PTSD, um, I've got osteoarthritis in both knees and my hips because of my injuries. My wife, eh, Nadia, had found a not forgotten and I got invited to one event a couple of years ago. The not forgotten have, um, have shown me other, otherwise. They've taught me, in a sense, to be honest with myself, to open up to people, to talk um, and to socialise, to learn who I am. Uh, so I'm now a, I am now a full-time volunteer for the not forgotten. Princess Mary, later Queen Mary, became the first patron of the association shortly after its creation in 1920. Since the year 2000, the Princess Royal has acted as patron and yesterday met many of the charity's volunteers at the Christmas reception. Not forgotten garden parties and Christmas parties have taken place at Buckingham Palace and St James's Palace since 1921. This week, the Duchess of Gloucester helped the Anglo-Danish Society celebrate 60 years of their charitable scholarship programme. The Duchess, who was born in Denmark, is the programme's protector. The programme provides financial support to Danish and British graduates pursuing further education. The Duchess met scholars, who have been supported by the Society, and heard about their studies in music, immunology and neuroscience. The Duchess of Gloucester joined Her Majesty Queen Marguerite II of Denmark at the anniversary event. Queen Marguerite is joint patron of the Anglo-Dutch Society alongside Her Majesty the Queen. They are pictured here together during the Danish state visit to the UK in the year 2000. Also this week, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester have attended the Advent procession at St Paul's Cathedral. The Duchess is patron of the Friends of St Paul's Cathedral a role previously held by Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Also this week, the Countess of Wessex, as patron of the Scar Free Foundation, hosted an afternoon tea at Buckingham Palace on Wednesday to mark the Foundation's 20th anniversary. Scar Free World is focused on advancing medical research in the areas of wound healing, burns and cleft lips. Her Royal Highness has been patron of Scar Free World since 2002 and last November opened the Foundation Centre for Conflict Wound Research at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham. The Countess met six-year-old Elizabeth and her parents, Liam and Sinead. Sinead's family are sharing their experiences and raising awareness of the impact of scarring. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So, from me in Shropshire, goodbye.